Dwayne N6DMR. Uh, going to do a video today for uh, converting a JSON, JSON format file to a CSV file using the AnyTone conversion program. So first thing we'll do is go and get the JSON file. So this is readily available on RadioID.net website. Um, you would be on the database side. Uh, you can't use this window because the results are limited, but if you want all of the contacts, you would go to database dump files. Um, the file you're looking for is users.json. This used to be a CSV file, but they've stopped uh, providing the uh, CSV. Uh, this is a web-based format, uh, and the easy way to save it is to right-click on it, and save the link as and I will put it in my downloads um, I've already uh, done this once so it's looking to put it in there with a different name so I'm just gonna go ahead and redo it as if this was a new file and yeah, it'll want me to replace it okay and then when I look in my downloads folder there is the uh, users JSON uh, file okay so the next thing we're gonna do get rid of uh, this page here um, this is the AnyTone program this is the D878 CPS uh, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move to where the AnyTone program is that uh, I will be providing uh, a link to in the video uh, comments and it's here under the JSON on my computer okay and uh, this will come as a zip file and then you can extract it and you just open this conversion file up it says any tone on it very nice logo provided at no cost I'll open up uh, I did that a little bit fast. I'll press on the convert, and in my downloads is the user uh, users JSON fold file that we just downloaded. Okay, and then we'll do a save, and this now is going to be the JSON file in a CSV, and we have to put a name to it. So I'm going to use the name that. Uh, used to be there was user CSV so we'll save that bingo we'll check and see if that is there um, and I'm looking for my downloads and there's the CSV file that we just converted right there in my downloads so that was the download of the JSON and the conversion so the next thing we'll do is check and see if it works so I have the radio plugged in and turned on. We'll set the COM port. My computer, it's COM5. And then we will do an import for a digital contact list. We'll use the downloads folder. And there is the user CSV file we just converted. Okay, we'll import that. I'm going to pause this video for just a second so it not waste time. Okay, so uh, the import of this converted file is completed. What I'm going to do is show you um, what's happening with that. Uh, there's around 127,000 uh, DMR IDs in the database, so we're going to look here at the 120 to 140 contacts in the CPS just to make sure they're there and uh, I'm going to actually pull this down to see exactly where we're at and yes 127 399 contacts so that's the entire database list converted from the JSON okay current content yes 
I'm going to save this now. Whoop. Actually, go back up to channels and we'll save this. So my code plug now has the latest information in it. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and set the comm. It's still on five, that's good. And I will go ahead and write to the radio, write the contact list with my other data. Okay, that's writing. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again because it takes a little bit of time to download this. Okay, we're just finishing up on the write to the radio. And that write data is complete now. And let me check my radio screen. And uh, yes, uh, all the contacts are in there. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, how you would convert a JSON digital contact list into a CSV for loading into the Anytone radio using the free Anytone JSON to CSV conversion program. I will put a link uh, to the zip file of the program in the comments to this video. Thanks for listening and 6DMR. We're finished.